Hello, you fellow engineers, and welcome to Flooded. We actually played this at the end of, like, last year. Now, we played the demo, and it's a really cool concept. It's a city builder, but, like, the sea level rises, so your island constantly shrinks, and it makes for a very, very fun game. So, we'll get into it. So, this is our starting level. Now, every time you play this, the levels are randomly generated. So, if you play it yourself, you'll get a completely different layout. But what we have, we have our base here. This is our miner's base. If this floods, it's game over. Around the back, we have living quarters. So, obviously, people live in those. What? Nah, I never knew that. I never knew that. And you can see up here, that's how many people we have. So, this is telling us we currently have 60 jobs, but we only have 20 people working. And speaking of jobs, can you see on these two? These are open mining pits. So, they'll be getting us iron per second. And basically, they've been put on. Can you see, like, there's iron deposits. There's also lead deposit, copper deposit. So, you shove those on the deposit you want to mine them to get the resource per second. Now, at the back of our base over here, we've got these, which are wells. They give us water per second. Our, our workers need water. If they don't have water, they won't work. Well, and they'll probably die of drought. But yeah, generally, you want to keep them working. We also have a water tank to store that. And then a warehouse to store other resources as well. So if you want to store more than 2,000 of each, you got to build more warehouses. Yeah, in the top right, because I'm playing the tutorial just to give us like some guidance, we've got the, the tasks we need to do. So we got to build four living quarters and we got to build four wells. So we'll get onto that. But first, this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. Gifting for dads can be hard. Yeah, cheers. Cheers for that, Pad. Appreciate that. But with Father's Day coming up, Ridge are having one of their biggest sales of the year. Ridge wallets make great gifts. They're able to hold up to 12 cards, plus there's a coin tray for cash, but they're way thinner than your old bulky wallet. Because whilst dad jokes are cool, dad wallets certainly aren't. There's over 30 different colors and designs, including these that I have here. These are made from durable materials and come with a lifetime warranty. So if your dog suddenly takes an interest, you don't need to worry about it getting damaged. So head to ridge.com forward slash engineer for up to 40% off through June 15th. That's ridge.com forward slash engineer. Thanks to Ridge for supporting the channel, but let's get back to today's video. Down here, we've got mining. We've got the miners living quarters. So let's build a few of these. So you can see it increases the number of miners by 10 and it costs 500 iron. We've got 2000 iron. So yeah, let's plonk some of these down. We need to remember the sea level is going to be rising up. So maybe I want to build sort of this direction a bit. So we got those building there. You can see I'm gaining lots of iron per second. And obviously the more living costs we have, the more miners we have, which means we're producing even more. But look, can you see the negative on the water? We're losing 30 water every second now, and we're only gaining 10 for each of these. Hence, we need to build the four wells. So into the water tab, a well costs 500 iron each. So let's get a few of these down. I reckon shove one there, one there, one there, and one there. So that is all four being built, which hopefully means the next negative on there is being balanced out. Yeah. So if we hover over the water at the top, you can see plus zero a second. So I might actually build just one more well, just so we're actually making positive of that. Because it's probably a good idea to have water on us at all times. Nice. Oh, wow. We're actually making 70 a second. Well, that sure went up quick. Anyway. Oh, it's because, oh, okay. It's because our, our miners, because we're, we're full of iron, they stop producing iron. Cool. And also, whilst I'm like talking about all this stuff. Look in the top left. This is the flood meter. Four minutes 20 until we're going to lose an entire ring around our island to the flood waters. Hence, we got to be fairly quick about this. So next up, we got to build an open mine pit. So let's go into mining. we got the open mine pit. Uh, we're already getting iron. So I feel like, shall I... I'll shove one on a copper deposit. Wow, that costs 2,000. I feel like going for the one right next to the beach probably wasn't the best idea there. Still, it's now built. We're making 30 copper per second. So I think we'll just wait until we get 2,000 iron again. And I'll probably do another one like, or maybe over like this way where it's a bit more inland. So yeah, I think I'll go for that one there. So that's two copper deposits now once they're built. All right, so we're making lots of copper. In fact, you can see we've made so much copper. Our storage is full up already. Hence, we need to build more of those warehouses so we can increase our capacity. So a warehouse costs a thousand iron. Uh, we're nearly there. You can see it's just about there we go. We have enough. So let's shove another warehouse down. So as soon as that's built, which is now, you can see we can now store 3,000 of each resource, which is good. Um, and then we can do the same with water as well. So we have these water tanks. They cost 1,000 iron, but once we once we have them, that will allow us to store more water. So let's shove that, I don't know, up there somewhere. So you see our 2,000 water, as soon as that's finished 
building, which is right about now. That capacity has gone up to 3,000, which means we can store more water. Very, very nice. Uh, what isn't nice? We've only got about a minute until the floodwaters come. <laughs> I feel so stupid building that mine there. It's going to last like two turns. But yeah, whilst the game wants me to build more warehouses, I feel like the iron isn't going up quick enough. So I'm actually, I'm going to save up 2,000 iron and then I'm going to build another iron mine. So we'll shove that on there. And then, oh no, do you hear that? That is the alarm, the 30 second alarm. You can see top left, we're flashing red. This is not good. Although what is good, we can finally afford another warehouse just about. So we'll shove that there. And then I guess we'll watch as the timer ends. Look, the island shrinks. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. So now we have six and a half minutes until that happens again. So in the meantime, we've got to we've got to try and get these tasks done. So we need one more water tank. Let's get that done. Now we have enough iron. So we'll shove that there. And now once all the objectives have been achieved, you can see we need 4,000 ore to move on to the next era. So we need 4,000 iron. And then we can press this button in the top right, which allows us to move to the next era. And the next era gives us a whole range of new buildings. Uh, and eventually we'll get some research that will allow us to like actually build false land, meaning we can survive a bit more long term. But at the moment, we're just saving up. So I don't know, is it worth? I was going to say, is it worth getting another mine? No, it's not. Because look at these mines. They've only got 10 out of 30 people. I, f I failed to realize I need more living quarters. So they do cost 500 each, but they give me 10 people. Yeah, I feel like, to be honest, probably worth building a couple of those. Yes, it does cost more, but it means in the long term, I'm going to be gaining faster. So I built three more. You can see we're gaining 15 iron per second out of each mine. Um, and we're pretty much at 4,000 iron. So once we're there, Boosh, we can click this button to move to the next era. So yeah, this era is the electricity era, which means we get all sorts of things to do with that. So a new tab down here, electricity. To start off, we will build accumulators um, and they, they allow us to store electricity. They're just big batteries, essentially. So I guess we'll shove them in the middle. Don't want them ne near the sea at all. So I've just built two of those. They hold a thousand electricity each. And then if we build a solar panel or two, this will produce us electricity. They cost a thousand copper to produce. I guess we'll shove those down. And it's worth noting pretty much everything in the electricity tab costs copper. So our iron's just going to keep going up. Meaning I should probably just keep building living quarters because uh, we're not going to be spending iron on any of these upgrade things yet. That's right. We'll shove a few more solar panels down. And remember, each living quarter I build helps us by creating more iron, but also more copper as well. However, it does use more water. So you can see up here, my water is going down. Hence, I probably want to build a couple more wells as well. So we'll shove one there, we'll shove another one there and there. All right, you can see water. I've just about managed to freeze it. So we're not gaining or losing any, but we've only got 100 on us. So I could keep building wells, but look, our island's getting very, very crowded. This is where the electricity meter comes in. So you can see up there, we've got nearly two and a half thousand play with. We can only store 3,000, but all of these buildings, if we click on them, we can use this button to upgrade. It costs 500 electricity, 125 iron, but we gain durability and performance. So if we do that, you can see there's a new bar on this. It's being upgraded. But then once it's done, oh yes, it's a big boy well. It produces twice the amount of water. Very nice. What isn't nice? 15 seconds and the flood meter is going to hit us. Panic. Panic. So yeah, once again, the island has shrunk. Not ideal. Um, so what we probably want to do is start upgrading some of these middle buildings. We probably want more workers. So I'll upgrade the living quarters. Uh, can I upgrade these solar panels? Oh, yeah, I can. They cost a thousand electricity to do that, as well as 250 copper. But uh, we got loads of copper on us. So yeah, you can see as we expand these, they get twice as big. And a bigger solar panel means more, more electricity being generated. So we'll upgrade another one. And oh, check out the size of the living quarters. Yeah, I'll probably keep upgrading all of these because I know we're going to start losing stuff around the outside. Um, oh, and look at this. To get to era three, we need 8,000 iron. We can only store 4,000 at the moment. So we need some warehouses. I don't think, I was going to say, I don't think we can upgrade them, but we can. 1,000 electricity, 250 iron. Let's do that. I'll we'll probably build another one as well since we do have a bit of space perhaps there. And yeah, annoyingly, there are trees dotted around, which I cannot remove. Now, worth noting as well, there's day and night cycle. So we only produce electricity from our solar panels in the daylight, obviously. Uh, so annoyingly, we're not producing any electricity. Although now we are because the sun, the sun is rising. So thank you. Thank you. Let's get 
Let's get another storage upgraded. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that. So upgrade another warehouse. I probably want to upgrade another well soon. What's the water? Plus 30. Not too bad. We've got three and a half minutes till the water level rises again. I've just upgraded another warehouse, which hopefully means we'll have the 8,000 iron pretty soon. Because once that's done, the capacity goes up to 8,000. Yeah, there it goes. And then we start gaining a load of iron. The water is going down though. So probably worth upgrading another well. So let's upgrade. All right, and then we can get to the next era. So we're in the expansion era. Yeah, so we've got a couple of tasks on this. We want to gather 4,000 electricity. So I guess if we upgrade our accumulators, our batteries, that will help us achieve that. And then we've got new buildings to build, underwater mining shafts. So if you look out at sea, can you see we've got these lead deposits? So the only way to get lead is to mine them from the sea. So actually, I'm going to hit pause a second. We only got two minutes remaining. Let's just have a look at the new stuff we've got. So underwater mining shaft. So that is how we're going to get some lead. So we can't actually build while the game's paused, by the way. So let's unpause. We'll build that over there. That's lead. Oh, they're all lead at the moment. But uh, you do get other resources in the sea. I think as soon as that one gets swallowed by the sea, we'll need an under underwater mine to actually mine that iron. But yeah, for now, let's just mine all these lead deposits. And we'll upgrade this battery as well. So then we'll build one more there and I think that should be the four that we need and then electricity is going up it should go up to 5,000 so we should get that challenge done as well so nice there's the underwater mining shafts done um, and now we've just unlocked the ability to manage miners so basically we can choose what resources we want to prioritize so you can say like I want most of you on copper so priority one less of you on that hardly any of you on that you can see all these numbers change but yeah down here we've unlocked a new tab defenses and this is where we can build artificial ground. So you can see they cost 1,500 lead to build each. So pretty pricey. Uh, so if I want to try and protect my base, I guess, I mean, we got we got 15 seconds till the flood water rises. So I should probably let that happen first. So ready? These, these living quarters at the back, they're going from like inland ones to beachside residents. Ready? With the power of engineering. Boosh! You now have a beachside property. Enjoy. But yeah, so I think our priority for now is building these fortifications. So if we, if we just build fake land all the way along this edge. Well, keep mining, keep mining the, the lead. I'll build another lead mine up there as well. And then you can see the land next to those, they're no longer beachside property. I mean, that one is, but uh, we've sort of protected them. So if we can build as many of these as possible, we should be good. Because remember, I've got to, I've got to protect my miners' base. So that is the priority. So another one there. Yeah, we have our next challenge to upgrade buildings to level three. So yeah, these living courses, they're level two in the middle of the big ones. I can upgrade them again now. So 500 electricity, 125 iron. Probably worth doing that. Get them upgraded. We've got to get four upgraded. I might do might do a solar panel as well then. And then maybe, maybe a well. Oh, actually, can I upgrade these? Yeah, I should be upgrading these, the underwater mining shafts, because that's how I get more lead. And I got to build the lead before we got just over four and a half minutes minutes remaining. So I'm just building these all over the place. Um, oh, look, the new buildings. Look how big the living quarters are. They're huge. Now, we can actually upgrade them again to level four, but we will need to get to the next era. And to get to the next era, we need 12,000 iron, as it says in the top right. We can only store 8,000, so probably worth upgrading some of these warehouses. And yeah, in the meantime, let's upgrade all these underwater mining shafts. Oh, come on, electricity. I need 2,000. Quick, I need to upgrade my shaft. Right, so in the meantime, more fortifications. I need one there. I need one there, probably there. Now, what I don't know, do I need one like there? Because I can see that's still beach. So will that get eaten? Probably. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and build one there. There we go. I'll build one there so that hopefully that corner's protected. I might need to do the same over this side. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna sacrifice this end of my island though, because that's just well, that's just how it works. Um, and then I guess just keep upgrading the warehouses. So we've got a little warehouse there. Actually, no point upgrading. You. I should probably upgrade this one because that one's definitely protected. So upgrade that one. Upgrade as well. All right, so the sun is setting again, which means we're going to stop producing electricity in a bit, which is going to scupper our, our upgrading abilities. Uh, this might be worth, I guess, just upgrading the solar panels at night, because I think they don't they don't produce electricity while they're upgrading. So I feel like that probably makes sense. I'm going to upgrade that warehouse as well. All right, so here we go. The solar panels are just being finished. Yeah, they're producing electricity now because the sun is about to rise. All right, decent. We've got a minute remaining. Let's get a few more fortifications in. I think if we just keep expanding I feel like I probably I need to do these corners really, don't I? How much lead? Oh, I got loads of lead. Okay, let's just go for it. All right, they're all being built, so hopefully that should protect most of the land. In the meantime, we can move to the next era, so let's do that before.
before we get flooded. So we've gone to a new era. Uh, ah, the, the flood meter alarm is sounding. Oh, look. Look what we get to do. This is the best era. We get to build a bridge. Build a bridge between the islands using artificial ground. Oh, so we've got to get over there. Okay, nice. Well, let's see. Have our fortifications worked? Because in five seconds, the flood levels are going to rise. And we'll see exactly if we manage to stop the flood or not. Ah! <laughs> so that's the other thing worth noting. When flood levels rise, you lose your artificial land. All right, so six and a half minutes. I'm going to, I think I'm going to upgrade all my shafts. Or oh, we need to upgrade some water as well. So we are not producing enough water. All right, so let's just upgrade all these lead shafts so we can make as much lead as possible. Now, this one is level three, you can see there. We can actually upgrade this again. We just need 2,000 electricity, which we're nearly going to have. So yeah, with this new era, we can now upgrade to level four, which is very nice. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to get some fortifications down. So... I don't know whether to do the bridge or whether to protect everything I've got at the moment. I might protect first. Because if I if I can just keep protecting myself and then keep upgrading, keep upgrading these mines, we'll get lead quicker, which means we can keep protecting ourselves. The circle of protection. I'll upgrade these living quarters as well. Because that means more miners. We'll upgrade the wells so that we can feed the miners water. Oh, and then we're out of electricity again, so we can't upgrade anything. Uh, oh, check out the level four. The level four mining shaft. It's so big. We can't upgrade that anymore. I think that's max level now. So currently making us 16. I think once the living courses are done. Yeah, it's going to start going up. It, it can do 60 if we have enough people. Oh, wow. Okay, we really need to upgrade our living quarters then. Let's get them. Let's get them done. So for every living quarter we upgrade, we really, really need to upgrade our wells. And then we got two minutes remaining. So let's just keep fortifying. We need to do this northern edge. So fortify, fortify, fortify. It'll be worth just building more solar panels panels like down here since we've got a bit of space and we got loads of copper so that's just going to make us more more electricity it doesn't really matter if we lose those either main thing is that we upgrade and fortify oh, damn solar panels why don't they work at night time <laughs> so annoying i really need to i need to save the land all right come on fortify fortify we don't have much time remaining no we got 12 seconds i don't even know if that one's gonna get built in time okay we've just about done them we got five seconds remaining i didn't build any of the bridge uh, but presumably the bridge would have been eaten yeah i think the bridge would have been eaten if i if i built it then and didn't finish it all right so anyway we got loads of tier four stuff in the middle i think let's just keep doing these living quarters and wells. We'll keep building more solar panels. I'll just build them on the beach. Literally don't care. Like as long as they're going to produce electricity, then I think it's going to help. So fortify. I'm going to last one more round before building the bridge because look how fast our lead's going up. It's Oh man, it's going up so fast. <laughs> This is awesome. So yeah, as long as I upgrade all these living quarters to the max, then we're just going to get more and more miners which is incredible because it means we're getting more lead, which means we can fortify more per round. Because yeah, the lead is literally flying up now. 250 a second, which means I can fortify way faster. So yeah, keep upgrading these living quarters. That is the key. We just got to keep an eye on water because that is actually dropping quite a lot. I think these are all, yeah, these are all level threes at the back. So upgrade all of those. Maybe build a few more wells because I'm a little bit worried about the water levels and build a few more miners just because I can. <laughs> I'm greedy. I'm greedy. Greedy. Yeah, essentially, I can just fortify everything, meaning our island should be pretty safe. I probably, I'll probably sacrifice those solar panels there. I think the ones on the beach, they will be lost this time. But right, we actually have more miners than positions now uh, by by a long way. So I can't upgrade any of these underwater shafts anymore. And it doesn't look like there's any more deposits about either. So I guess, I guess we just build our bridge. So we can probably do this fairly quickly. Yeah, I'm just two bits short. So I just need 500 more lead. So that's like two seconds worth. Thank you. All right, 30 seconds until the floodwaters come, but the bridge is nearly done. Come on, build the last bridge. We got 15 seconds. Yes, we're done. Okay, we built the bridge and we got the victory. Oh, that was awesome. So yeah, that was part of the story mode. There's like loads of different levels and challenges and stuff. There's also endless and quick play. But basically, as you work through the campaign, you unlock like more stuff. Like there's, you'll be attacked by other people. Now you can build ships to go exploring and stuff. So yeah, there's lots to this game. Now I would definitely recommend. But for now, I'll say peace, love and a flooded Eiffel Tower. Cheers, guys. Bye.